Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Now with just two months left until the big event at the Sydney Opera House with Sydney Symphony Orchestra, Play With Rays this year is on the cusp of announcing its three winners. While that's exciting, Play With Ray is so much more than simply picking out winners. It's about the community. It's about the journey and about celebrating together from all over the world, cool music, as well as an opportunity and a dream to play together. So today we're going to be watching just a few of the many, many musicians who have already inspired us through their playing. See you in Australia. All right. First up, we have Janice Gu. Hi, Ray. Oh my gosh, she looks so cute. My name is Janice. I am six years old. I am from Singapore. I want to go to Australia to see. Cockatails and cockatoos. Ah! Cockatails and cockatoos? Oh my gosh, she looks so cute. Is that like a quarter size violin? Ooh, I like the confidence. Nice long bows there as well. six years old only, already sounding so good. Janice, you look like you're having so much fun. And that's what this is all about, having fun. Janice, thank you for inspiring us all. This is such a cool beginning, but we wanna move through a few more people, so let's keep this rolling. Next up. My name is Michael. Hi, Michael. I wanna perform with you, cause I wanna perform in the Sydney Opera House. And I, I also kinda wanna cuddle. Oh yeah, cuddling with koalas is great. Yeah, that is a very important reason to come to Sydney. That looks like a really comfy sofa, by the way. Very nice. Michael, you're doing such a great job. You've got a great presence as well. I hope that one day I get to meet you. This is a really, really great video. Thanks for sharing it with us. All right, next up, who do we have? Anna Hirosawa. Wow, we've got people from all over the world. Let's see where Anna's from. Oh, recorded in Tokyo, Japan. Anna, eight years old. She's so cute as well. <laughs> Facial expressions is like. This is so great. Also, I want to say that Anna, your dress is beautiful. It is so gorgeous. And I love that you, like, have presented yourself. Oh, gotta get in on the solo. Oh gosh! I know. Okay, so I love people's facial expressions when they play. It's just one of the most interesting things to me. It's so cool that now we get to see people's facial expressions up close. Traditionally, before there were cameras and big screen stuff, people could barely see, right? Like if you're in row, a good seat is considered like row 10 to 15 in the concert hall. But that's already, I would say a good 20 meters away from somebody. A person with 20-20 vision might be able to see, but like an average person with normal vision, yeah. You're just more like taking in the ambiance and everything like that. So I, for one, love the fact that I get to read people's facial expressions and kind of discover. It makes the music so much more interesting as well. Thanks so much, Anna. Not only is your facial expressions great, your playing is great too. Oh, we're still on the first movement. We got three movements to get through because this time it wasn't just picking out three people with the one movement. It was about picking one person for each movement so they could each play with me. So, okay, fourth person we've got, oh my gosh, this is a beautiful church. Julia, hi Julia. We actually met in Berlin. I don't know if you remember. 
Maybe you do. Wow, she's only 14? Oh my gosh. The kids are getting younger and younger every edition. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm getting older. <laughs> wow. The phrasing is so good too. That's so awesome. Each applicant has put in so much effort into their video, whether it be in a beautiful church like this one or at home dressed up. It's pretty cool to see. Thank you, Julia. I always like to say practice as if you were performing. It's a psychological thing that helps you so that when you're finally on stage, you can not feel nervous. And this is something that I was always thinking about as a student. When I was four years old, I started violin and I was always performing in front of people. But I noticed that sometimes when I was practicing, the things that I had practiced with what was happening at the performance weren't the same. I realized that it was because I was practicing and performing in two different environments, right? Two different me's. So I was like, okay, how can I kind of merge the two together? For many years, I practiced for my mom, which a lot of you probably do as well. Uh, practice for friends. But it was hard, you know? It's hard to try and get everyone together and be like, hey, listen to me practice for the fifth time again. So I eventually realized that the best way to do this is through a community. I actually went to a few music festivals, a few music practice camps, and actually had so much fun. I'm usually kind of a lazy person, but I always feel so much more motivated when someone else is around. And so eventually this all led to Tonic, this wonderful community where you can practice and motivate each other, where you can inspire each other and just support and uh, lots of cool events that help keep you motivated in practicing. So if you're a practicer, if you're a listener, if you just want to be connected to a music community, come join Tonic as well. You won't be disappointed. In fact, you'll be so motivated that you'll be practicing every day. All right, next one. So this one is with Melody. Holy moly, this one, wait a second, just taking a pause there. There's 23,000 views on this video. Oh my gosh, wow. It's more views than most people get, than I get on some of my videos. <laughs> wow, this is beautiful playing as well. Ah, there's so many good people. Everyone's so talented. You can just tell. It's... Now you understand how difficult it is to pick out winners for Play With Red. You get to the point where it's, all right, here's my short list of 100 people. So yeah, this was especially tough because we had over a thousand applicants this time and it was a lot to get through. All right, Olivia Chan is next. This is such a cool background. This almost looks like in Japanese inspired. We've got the tatami there. Wow, I don't see any more details, but okay, let's, let's take a listen. <laughs> I also just noticed that instead of the screen insert, which I'm so used to by now, that's an actual iPad there <laughs> or like some sort of screen. After seeing so many of these videos, it's just little things like that to differentiate. And that's also a great advice for those of you who might be considering putting together audition material for whatever it is, a competition, an audition, the next play with Ray. Things like this really make a difference. Making sure that you look good, the lighting is good, maybe even the background is interesting as well. All good things, all good things. Dang, she looks like she's just rocking it, going from left and right, just like, yes, I'm there. And I love that. That's such great spirit. All right, I want to get through as many as I can, so we're going to keep this moving. Thank you so much. This one was by Olivia, so moving on to the next. And we're still only on the first movement here. Manjir Michael. All right. Wow, this is 
is so professional. By the way, all these videos are on YouTube, so definitely go check them out. I know I'm talking over a lot of these, but if you want to listen to any one of these, the links are going to be in the description below, so definitely go check them out. By the way, I love the background, the chalkboard. I think it says Bach and Ray Chen, but the screen is covering it. Oh. Very nice, very nice, wow. I only have positive things to say. This is amazing. I also like the detail there. I was like looking at the chalkboard and wondering if those notes are the Bach. Yeah, they are. Of course they are. Also, so well dressed. I love your hair. Michael, I'm gonna call you Michael. I love your hair, MM. It looks great, you look great. And you sound great too. The best of both worlds. So, I think we're gonna move on to the second movement now. Let's see here. Who do we have? Fiona Fang. Wow, that's also an incredibly beautiful dress as well. So it's so like soothing and it goes with the second movement, the, the lilt of it. Mmm. This is amazing. This is so good. Wow. I love this. It's also very, very difficult, I would say, to play along to a recording. I know because I actually attempted it myself when I was practicing. I was like, okay, what tempo can I take? And then especially in the last movement, right? It's already hard to play with somebody else. There's all about compatibility. There's all this stuff around breathing together. When it comes to playing with a recording, you don't even have any of that, right? Of course, we have the video there so you can sort of see me and the conductor and the orchestra, but it's still really hard to make it sound one, right? But everyone here is doing such a great job. Thank you, Fiona. You're dressing like as if you're already there at the venue, which I love and I respect. All right, next up we have Wang Ching Ho Mike. Nice to meet you, Mike. Also with the second movement, chose the screen in the background, aptly placed in front of the piano as if it were the accompaniment. Wow, that's really beautiful playing. You can start to see everyone's individuality, right? I mean, we've got so many people with the same piece of music, but you can already see every single person is different, plays different. Oftentimes I get asked the question, how do you make something sound fresh or yourself? I, I just say, well, first of all, you have to make it yours. And then it'll naturally sound different from anyone else's. And I love that everyone here seems to have that, that confidence, you know? And, and I really am inspired by that. Oh, do I spy my violin case in the, <laughs> in the bottom there? Yes! Nice one, Mike. I love your decor. Where is this? Hey, can I come over? <laughs> I'm inviting <laughs> myself over. That's right. So the next person. Wow, we've got here Richard Chen and his car. <laughs> Wait, Richard Chen, lawyer, New Zealand. Richard Chen, lawyer from New Zealand. Ray Chen and the Sydney Symphony Orchestra play with Ray. What? What is that? Is that like a like an announcer? Wow. Okay, before I even get into the playing, I wanted to, to say that's a very creative entrance. Very dramatic too. This looks like a car park and a public one at that. I mean, obviously he's a lawyer, so he must know his rights. But my gosh, 
Richard, what a great intro. Because I haven't actually sat on any of these juries for other competitions out there, but I would think that being memorable is something that should be encouraged. And I love what you've done here. <laughs> Let's take a little listen as well. Wow, you even switch camera angles. This is like a, a, a whole production set here. <laughs> Wait, I need to take a look at this again. That, that pose right there. Wait, let me get a side by side. I need to do this. Wow, that is so fabulous. Richard, thanks for being so fabulous. And I love your car. This was definitely one of the most memorable Play With Ray videos that I have ever received. All right, next up, Silas. All right. Silas. Oh God, this must have been done around Christmas. Wow, this is so good. Do you hear how clear those triplets are? Wow. I gotta say, this is so good. The clarity, the playing, I didn't know how people were gonna top Richard before, but this is amazing playing. Also, I wanted to ask though, Silas, your last name is Yang. I'm gonna make an assumption that you're Asian, but why is it that you're wearing shoes inside the house? Uh, uh, that aside, that aside, your, your playing is Asian great quality. All right, we've got time for, I think, one last one. This list is endless. Can you imagine going through a thousand applicants? Actually, there were over a thousand. The good thing is that everyone's was just so inspiring. So there was a lot of inspiration. All right, last one. Here we go. Yuto Lim. 11 years old. I love his plushies behind him. Oh, a little dynamic there. Nice. He looks like Mini Ray, by the way. Oh my gosh. So good. Everyone's just so talented. This is pretty amazing. He's 11 years old, is dreaming of playing Bach Double and Smash Bros with his biggest hero and inspiration. Thanks, Smash Bros. <laughs> All right, it's on. And by the way, you guys have the coolest places. I'm just totally inviting myself over to all of your places next time for tea. This is happening. This is great, and it's great vibes too. I think on that note, this is a great place to finish. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all the people who sent in applications as well to play with Ray. Thank you so much for sharing your playing with me with the members of the Sydney Symphony Orchestra, and I hope you will continue to share your beautiful music with everyone around the world. I'm sorry we couldn't get through everybody today, but we got through a lot, and hopefully we'll have room next time for another video, and if not, then there will always be the next Play With Ray. I guarantee that. That being said, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you, not in the next video, then in your practice room on Tonic. Bye!